Good morning, my name is David Von Rohr and I'm the manager of Metallurgy for Philadelphia Gear. Today we're standing in front of a Magnaflux ADH2045 mag particle inspection testing machine. And during our time today we're going to take this worm pinion and we're going to inspect it on the machines for any external or subsurface cracking that occurred during its lifetime in use. Today's sample has been in service and has been brought back to our company for evaluation for cracking to determine whether or not the part can remain in service or needs to be replaced. So during our evaluation, we're going to mag particle inspect this entire unit. We're gonna look for any cracking along the teeth, flanks, and in the roots, and all along the outside surfaces. The control panel for the machine has a digital display to aid you in knowing how much current is being applied to the part at any given time. There's two types of current methods for application. We can apply current through the contacts or we can apply current through the coil. The contact and coil controls are merely knobs from 0 to 10 that increase or decrease the amount of current applied. The push buttons down the bottom allow us to either demagnetize the part, magnetize the part, use DC current, AC current, use the contacts, use the coil, turn on the internal light, turn on the internal fan, turn on the pump for the solution, or allow us to switch everything over to a push bar control, which would be down here. In case you have no hands left to push a button, you can press your hip against this bar and it will apply the current to the machine. Three of the main components of this instrument are the headstock, the tailstock and the coil. The coil slides back and forth to move in and out away of the part while you're loading the part into the head and tailstock. The head and tailstock are controlled pneumatically via a foot switch which allows you to lock the part in place providing an electrical contact between the copper pads. That's how the contact will apply the current to the part. The coil moves and the current goes around the coil inducing a magnetic field into the part longitudinally. Once the part is inside the machine and has already been magnetized and the magnetic particles are flowing, we evaluate it with a black light. This black light will illuminate anything that fluoresces. So our magnetic particles fluoresce when they're in a magnetic field, therefore they will appear as green lines or follow the shape of any discontinuity or crack on the part. To do a headshot using circular magnetization, we need to put the part in between the two copper contacts such that it'll rest on the two shelves and will support the weight of the part. We then lock the part in place with the pneumatic foot switch so it's secure, thus creating a direct electrical contact from headstock to tailstock.